Okay, I'm going to tie a pometer squirrel tail jig. I'm going to use a, a 30 second jig head, black. I'm going to use 210 diameter black wax thread. Right, first, you want to get you a layer of thread laid down. I usually carry it to the hook point, then bring it back up about midway all the way to the head. Alright, squirrel tail. This is, it's got a nice white tip to it and a black line across the end of it. You want to get a, get you a, a good size twist of it. Cut it off right against the, against the skin. Alright, with this 132nd I like about a about an inch long tail. So basically it's to the tip of the tip of the hook to your head. Then grab it with you with the other one. And I like to cut the cut it off. And just leave you enough to, to tie it on there. I stick a couple of strands there and let me get that cut off. Alright. Take him. Hold it on top of your hook, wrap about three winds around it, and pull out on it. Alright, then wrap it all the way to your hook point. Alright, wrap it all the way back up. Fill in that spot behind your head real good. Because we're going to carry this thread back down here to the end. Okay, we're going to use a, a dubbin for the body. This is a rabbit. It's going to be a olive color. So what you want to do is take just a little bit of it. Take and dub it to your dub it to your thread. All right, slide it back up to your to your hook. All right, then start making your making your body. Just Wrap it and make sure it stays tight. Build your good body. You want it to be a little bit bigger at the right behind the, the jig head. Alright, you want to leave it a little bit rough like that. That's what makes a makes a good looking body on it. Pull it a little tight. Okay, you can trim off the a little wild fibers be fine but I'm using a kind of a ginger hackle kind of a red I'm gonna go about mid body and get me a about a medium feather for it see if I can find me a, a good one it's got a nice black center to this to this feather and kind of a kind of a red tip so that's what we that's what we're working with right there. All right, we're gonna come right to where the feather starts getting thick and pull that back. Just kind of pull it off. All right, take and cut this feather. Leave you about a little quarter inch little leg on there to tie in. All right, you want the bottom side of your feather to face toward the tip since this is a wet fly. All right, start that right right on your head. Run you a couple of loose layers of thread around it. Pull it a little tight. Go inside of the like it. All right, now you got your feather tied in. Get your hackle pliers. Go ahead and put them on your, your hackle. All right. Then start wrapping your, your hackle and you're staying right behind your jig head. So that's two wraps, that's three wraps, that's four wraps. Now you got a nice, a nice head going, nice collar going there. So you're gonna pull that up, pull your, pull it out toward the front, take your thread and wrap around it twice. Alright, then go back in front of it. Alright, then you can take and cut that 
excess hackle out of the way. Got a couple little wild feathers right there you can cut out. Alright, wrap it a couple times. Then run you one, two, three, four. Four wraps, pull it down tight. Cut off your thread. Flip it up, put you a little bit of glue right on the bottom. Seal off that thread. And there's your, there's your finished jig. That's a pometer, squirrel tail, jig. Y'all try them, they're a good jig.